Indian green bonds market in 2021 saw the largest ever green bonds issuance of over $7 billion, says a report by KPMG, a business advisory firm. As of now, more than 90% of India's green bonds are allocated to the renewable energy generation sector. Experts say India doesn't offer tax incentives for investments in the green bond sector. Green bonds, once it's verified, um, it becomes very transparent in terms of knowing where the capital that you've invested goes into. Mm -hmm. So, in a way that eliminates risk to a certain extent, so that you get a lower rate of interest from it. Um, mm -hmm. But in the, in the long term, it does provide significant tax benefits or tax credits for investors compared to traditional fixed income, just bonds per se. In, within the Indian context, I don't think that has uh, been approved. Government of India plans to issue 16,000 crore worth of sovereign green bonds in the first two months of 2023. Government expects more people to subscribe to these bonds, which is expected to drive the demand and hence their price. Government is taking an initiative of introducing a sovereign green bond. Not many countries have issued sovereign green bond till date, even though a lot of companies have issued. According to a report by the Climate Bonds Initiative, the global green bond market reached over $1 trillion in 2020. One of the major factors driving this growth is the increasing awareness of the need to transition to a low-carbon economy. Many issues, many companies per se, they are not, uh, you know, explicitly mentioned it that it is a green bond, even though it is a green bond. The main reason for that is, you know, uh, in India, a domestic investor to differentiate the pricing in terms of a normal bond vis-a-vis -a, -vis a green bond. Indian market has raised over $18 billion via green bonds till 2021. Experts believe this reflects the desire of investors to align their portfolios to support sustainable projects. This is Saurav Kumar reporting for CityCast, Bangalore.